Look, a little over five years ago, I was the guy that had every possible supplement that you could possibly imagine spread out on my counter. I was taking protein, creatine, glucosamine, prostate supports, liver supports, milk thistle, fish oils, CLAs, digestive enzymes, just a whole bunch of stuff, most of which I didn't need at all. Unfortunately, nobody was around to tell me that all those supplements that I bought were just leading to one thing, and that was expensive pee. Seriously guys, the supplement industry is huge and there are a lot of products that you're told they're gonna help you build muscle or they're gonna help you burn fat three times as fast. But the truth is that most of these supplements are just gonna burn a hole in your wallet and you're gonna wind up spending a whole bunch of money that you could have spent on good quality food that would actually get you way more results. Today I wanna go over the top five BS supplements that you should stay away from. Let's start with number one, liquid ketones. The reason why I wanted to mention liquid ketones first is because they're becoming more and more popular right about now. The whole idea is that liquid ketones are supposed to help you enter ketosis faster. So liquid ketones are really growing in popularity, especially with the keto diet crowd. Unfortunately, somebody should tell them that this supplement's claims are just straight up lies. In order for your body to go into ketosis, you have to restrict carb intake enough for your body to begin to convert fat into ketones, which will be used as energy. Simply put, you're using fat as your primary source of fuel when you don't have any carbs. This process of using ketones for energy, known as ketosis, essentially allows people to target their fat stores and burn fat. Ketosis happens naturally when you take glycogen or carbs away from the body and not when you add something in. Randomly adding in ketones into your body will not put you into a state of ketosis. Again, ketosis leads to ketones. Ketones don't lead to ketosis. So when your body is in ketosis, that leads to a natural ketone production, whereas the other way around, adding in extra ketones for no reason will just give you extra fuel to burn before you start burning your own fat stores, which was the whole point of taking the liquid ketones to begin with. It's actually really, really stupid when you think about it. Anyway, next up are mass gainers. That's right, mass gainers are a complete waste of your money, and here's why. First of all, mass gainers are not healthy at all. It's pretty much a little bit of protein powder filled with a ton of sugar. In fact, they have so much filler sugar that most mass gainers fail lab tests for protein, meaning that they have less protein than what's written on the package. If you want the best bang for your buck, then buy regular protein powder and use it to make your own mass gainer. You can create a way better mass gainer with ingredients that come from real food for your body to actually use. What you do is you take two scoops of protein powder, two tablespoons of peanut butter, two bananas, two servings of rolled oats, and one to two tablespoons of coconut oil. Then you add it in with either water or whole milk if you really wanna add some extra calories, then blend it all together with some ice, and voila, you have yourself a killer mass gainer that's cheaper and much more effective and what you would get out of your typical commercial mass gainer. Next on the list are multivitamins, and I know a lot of people are gonna lose it when I explain this one, because some people really do think that taking a multivitamin every day will magically keep them healthy. Don't worry about your diet, just take your multivitamins. Sorry to break it to you, but your multivitamin is only gonna do two things. One, it's gonna overfill the pockets of the supplement companies, and two, you're gonna have really expensive piss. That's pretty much it. There have been lots of studies on this, but specifically three studies published in the journal called Annals of Internal Medicine found that multivitamins and minerals didn't perform any better than a placebo pill in regard to people's health. Meanwhile, supplements like multivitamins continue to lead a multi-billion dollar industry. First of all, we don't even understand the full spectrum of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants present in real fruits and vegetables. Like, what I mean is we might know about half of them, or maybe 10% of them, or maybe 1% of them. We don't know. But even that aside, when you take the vitamins that you think we need to stay healthy and you make a synthetic pill, I don't care if it's a veggie cap, it's foreign to your body, your body doesn't absorb it in the same way that it would have absorbed real food. On top of that, the percentages of certain vitamins in a multivitamin are really high, and scientists aren't even sure if that could potentially be harmful for you. Just one out of the three of these studies involved over 6,000 people, studied for over 12 years comparing placebos and multivitamins. They're a waste of your money. Start eating real fruits and vegetables, either by juicing them or in salads if you really want to experience the great health benefits. 
Look, if you're the type of person that lives off of a diet of frozen pizza and diet soda, then yeah, maybe you'll get something out of multivitamins, but it's not gonna keep you healthy the way that eating real fruits and vegetables would. And this has been proven with studies. The fourth stupid supplement that you should definitely stay away from are testosterone boosters. Studies have shown that testosterone boosters will only increase your testosterone by a very small percentage compared to what's actually necessary to produce an actual result caused by hormonal changes. I'm talking about like a 20% change in your testosterone levels. That might sound like a lot, but in order to experience results, you have to have like a 300% change on the low end. So practically speaking, they're not gonna do anything for you. Well, I take that back. There is one thing that testosterone boosters will do for you, mostly because they all have one very common ingredient. Tribulus terrestrius, I believe. It'll help you improve libido, but won't do much for your testosterone levels. So this makes people think that it's working, but it's not. In fact, it might even have a testosterone lowering effect. Don't waste your money. Last supplement that I wanna talk about are fat burners, including CLAs. Those things are super popular, especially with the meathead community, right? Like I said, I used to take CLAs all the time because I thought it was keeping my body fat percentage nice and low. And it wasn't like a real fat burner, like hydroxy cut or something like that. But unfortunately, CLAs don't work enough for you to spend a dime on them. I know it seems like there's a lot of studies that are saying that CLAs work, but the truth is that these studies are performed mostly on mice, not on people. These mice clearly had amazing benefits, some of them dropping 60% body fat. That's extraordinary. Unfortunately, these studies don't translate over to people. A review of eight clinical trials found great variability in response to taking CLA. And the really strange thing about the studies is that the amount of CLA taken didn't correlate with the amount of weight loss. It was just kind of random. More studies need to be done on the topic, but I've taken CLAs and the amount of results that you notice will be so insignificant that I'd classify them in the same group as multivitamins and maybe testosterone boosters. Probably not as bad. You don't need them. They work if you diet and exercise, and they're not gonna work if you don't diet and exercise. So might as well just diet and exercise. Same thing goes for fat burners. Fat burners are pretty much just a huge dose of caffeine. They're gonna make you jittery, and they'll make your heart race, and they'll give you a bloody nose if you're really lucky. That's right, who would have guessed that most fat burners are really unhealthy in the long run. And unfortunately, they don't work without diet and exercise, so might as well diet and exercise. That's it guys, I really hope this video has helped you out. I really hope it helps clarify and shine some light on some of those BS supplements out there so you don't waste your money like I did. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And by the way, right now I'm running a free six week challenge where all you have to do to get it free is actually stick to the plan. And most of my clients are losing either a minimum of 20 pounds or 5% body fat in six short weeks. Click the link below and that'll take you straight there. What are you waiting for? Seriously, click that link. This challenge will completely change your life, I promise you. The website is gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.